What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are having some fun with it. We are using one of my favorite Pokemon, Palafin, alongside with one of my other favorite Pokemon, Flamigo. You guys are no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, the support on these videos have been crazy. So I give a huge shout out to everybody who is watching, subscribing, or liking up these videos. But uh, like I said, we got Flamigo today, and Flamigo is a very cool Pokemon. It has a new ability called Co-Star, which copies the ally stats or the ally Pokemon stats in double battle. So if you put them alongside a Pokemon with a weakness policy proc, it will actually get the stat boost as well so on this team we have armor rouge who has a weakness policy and we can actually get flamigo alongside with it so we got mouse hold to actually go into a lead and then you got armor rouge you can actually use beat up proc that weakness policy proc weak armor as well to get that speed boost and then have that flamigo come in here after you follow me and destroy the mouse hold and then after that, you pretty much have two Pokemon that are capable of sweeping battles. So this one's going to be fun. We're going to be able to rock out strong with it. We get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Armor Rouge. Like I already mentioned, it has that weak armor and the weakness policy as item. We're going to be trying to proc that with the mouse hold just so we can get this combo rolling. This Pokemon has expanding force, armor cannon, stored power, and protect as its final move. Second Pokemon is going to be Salamence. I love this pseudo legendary, especially because it learns Intimidate. Intimidate is such a good ability, it just lowers attack stat right off the rip. This Pokemon is going to be solid all around. It has Dragon Claw for stab, Iron Head for steel when it terror types into steel, then it's got Dragon Dance to set up and protect for its final move. Middle left is going to be that mouse hold. We already kind of went over to the general just a mouse hold, but it is a great support Pokemon all around. It has Friend Guard as its ability, the Focus Sash as its item, and then it's got Beat Up, Follow Me, Taunt, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Flamigo over here. Flying and fighting type bird with uh, no evolutions. It's just a solo type, and I think it's such a cool Pokemon. It's got that co-star ability, like we already mentioned, the life orb adds item, and then it's got close combat, brave bird, throat chop, and detect. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be another support Pokemon. It is going to be Indeedee over here. Indeedee can actually be led with Arm Rouge because you can just pop the psychic terrain and have Arm Rouge do damage that way, so you kind of have two different ways to go in the Arm Rouge. Indeed, he's got the Psychic Surge as his ability, Psychic Seeds as his item, and then he's got Psychic, Helping Hand, Follow Me, and Protect for its four moves. Final Pokemon is going to be that lovely Palafin with its Zero to Hero ability and the Choice Scarf as his item. It's got Wave Crash, Flip Turn, Ice Punch, and Jet Punch for its move set. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Palafin and Flamigo team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Dodonzo team and a uh, Tasugimi, or Tasugami, however you pronounce that, but I don't know what the different colors do. This one is yellow. I know there's a pink one and there's an orange one. I'm not too sure if their stats change or they get different moves. I'm pretty sure it's only a little bit of stat change, but if you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below. They also have the Miascarada, the Rotom Wash, Weavile, which is such a cool Pokemon, and Annihilate. I think I'm going to try to go into the combo, right? Is there any way we can actually counter up on Dodonzo? Because Dodonzo seems like it's going to be a pain. Right? It really does. But you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna go into here and I'm going to go Armor Rouge. And I'm going to bring my Flamigo in the back end. And then last but not least, I kind of want to go Salamence. So late game Salamence could be nice. But Salamence can counter a lot. We just got to watch out for that Weavile. Weavile could definitely be tough. So we're going to lead that Pokemon. We're going to get after it and look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. And I wonder what Pokemon they're going to end up leading. I do. It could be Weavile. Maybe we should just let a uh, Psychic Surge with the Weavile, just so he can't fake out. But the Donzo seems like it could be a pain. But if I get this setup going with the Arm Rouge and the Flamigo, I feel like we can do enough damage to actually start KOing that Pokemon. We'll see. Who are you going to lead? It's going to be Weavile and Miascarada. Okay, so we can fake out. He can go into Trick Room if he wants to. Definitely going to go into Fake Out, right? Just seems like the right play to make. It definitely does seem like the right play to make. Go for the beat up. And obviously, I kind of want to try it. Actually, I could just protect this turn. And, hmm. I'm actually going to double protect. I don't think he's going to set up anything. I think he's just going to fake out and kind of go from there. If you set up Trick Room, you set up Trick Room. It's no big deal. I know Miascarada can set up Trick Room, but I just think double protecting is going through the play with fake out on the field. I think that's a simple, a simple play for us. A very simple play. Let's see. You're going to make a move? Or are you just going to sit here and waste my time? <laughs> Let's see. The Weavile's definitely got to be on for Fake Out. Right? It just makes the most sense. So I'm going to protect the Mouse Hold. I'm going to protect the Arm Rouge, and we're going to see how we can play this battle from here. 
double protect coming out here. We like it. We like it a lot. And there's the fake out. Yeah. Fake out and Masquerado. What are you doing? You gotta just be hitting me, right? Flower trick. Okay. That's fine. So changes to straight grass type. I mean, it's already been grass type, right? Right? Or does it lose its dark typing at that point? I'm not too sure. But from here, now I can go safely into this beat up. I think Mouse Hold might be... Actually, probably not faster than Weavile, right? 179. I don't think it's faster than Weavile. Weavile cooks. Weavile cooks. But I can do that, and then I can just go into an armor cannon. And if I guess, that thing could be Sash, but... Hmm. There's just expanding force on one of these guys. Yeah, it's like straight grass type now. That's good to know. And it can't change back, so I'm just going to do that just so I don't lower my stats. If you want to see a terror type, please don't terror the dark. What are you doing? What type are you ter terrestrializing into? Anything but dark. Okay, straight grass. Great grass. Okay, so I have the focus ash. Curious to see how this one's gonna play out here. Nice slash can come in hot here. We're gonna be able to eat that one up. And weak armor is going to drop. So my speed is going to get boosted. And he's gonna proc my weak policy for myself. I get Flamigo out here as soon as possible. This could be huge for us. Spanning Force is going to pop. Can we KO here with this? We do. That's a big time KO. Because now I'm going to beat up. Hopefully beat up this and KO my arm rouge. And then I can legit follow me out. And get the Flamigo. Or I can hard swap. It really depends what Pokemon they bring in here. Alright, beat up's going to work perfectly. So it's going to start dropping my defense. But my speed is going to go through the roof. My speed is here. That's what's so good about arm rouge. Like, it can soak shots pretty well. It's pretty bulky. Like, as you can see that Weavile, Weavile is actually a decent physical attacker. Hit me with a stab Night Slash that was super effective. And we were able to eat it up pretty well. My speed, my speed stat is max. Oh, did I just get a crit on myself? I think I got a crit on myself. I think I just got a crit on myself. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down right now. I'm down on HP. Um, hmm. I would love to get Flamigo out here. Let's see who he actually pulls out. Might be the Tatsu, right? Might be the Tatsu or the Donzo. It is going to be the Tatsu Gimi. I think I'm just going to follow me these shots. I think I just constantly follow me out here. I got stored power, though. Some great move. The user attacks the target with stored power. The moves uses boost it. Stats are boosted. The greater the moves power. So, like, I think it's 20% for any every move that... Or any stat that is boosted on him. If I check status, like... Ooh. This could be big. This could be big. I'm just going to go for stored power here. I would love to go for an armor cannon, too. Drop my defense, special defense. I don't really care about my defense or special defense. I'm cool with the armor cannons. He's going to protect that Pokemon. I'm fine with that. Do we think this... Uh, If, if we've all learned Icy Wind here, I am going to swap it to my Flamigo. Let's see what he's going for, because I'm just going to try to follow me out here. I'm an armor cannon. I am going to bring you down to Sash. My defense is dropped. It is low. It is too low. And what is Weavile going for? I think Ice Wind might be able to KO me. I'm just... I need to get my Amigo out here. He's going to go straight Night Slash here. Doing some nice damage. Do I straight swap into the Flamigo here? I really want to. But actually, I outspeed at this point, so... Might as well just go for another Stored Power. I could see him swapping into the Dodonzo, but I need my mouse hole to die as soon as possible. As soon as possible. So once that Pokemon dies, I get out the Flamigo. And the Flamigo will copy the stats of the armor and it's just gonna be great. Protect the gummy again. Wow, I could have went after the gummy, but that's fine. I probably should have went after the gummy. I should have just taken out that Pokemon. I'm surprised he didn't just hard swap. That's what that's what I've been thinking he was doing, but now I kind of just set myself up for failure. Not technically. I think we're fine. Because I... Oh, did Danzo learn EQ? If Danzo does learn EQ, I might have to protect my armors here. I could swap here. If Danzo does learn EQ. Like, you would think he would be going for an EQ, right? So I can swap it to my bird. Kind of co-star and protect and then get after the battle that way. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I'm thinking just swapping. It's got to be an EQ. An EQ's got to be coming in hot from that slot. I'm going to go Flamigo. And then I'm just going to go straight for a battle. And Sword Power is probably going to do the most damage for me. 
That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into a sword power here. Swap the mouse hole, get the co-star wrong with the Flamigo, and we're looking to take out a Dodonzo. We're gonna copy the stats. I don't think we copper the lowered stats. I'm not too positive on that one. Sword power coming in here. How much damage is this gonna do? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, big chunk of damage. And the EQ does fly. So we predicted the EQ. That's pretty solid. My boy, my Flamigo can dodge it. Which is huge. Does not affect him, but Armors is going to drop out here. So Armors drops out here. We have Flamigo max stats out, ready to fight. And now I can pretty much just go into Mouse Hole, right? Mouse Hole would be my best bet. Follow me at any single shots. We can dodge EQs. I like that. I like that turn. I like swapping into Fl Flamigo there. So, I want to see if it copied the defensive stats. It did. Look at these stats. <laughs> Look at these stats. Ridiculous. Ridiculous stats. We are going to go into... We're going to a close combat. Just drops my defense. Yeah, we're going to drop a nice little close combat here. I am going to go into a follow me. I'm going to roll off from here. So just follow me out these uh, single hitting shots and try to close combat down with the bird. The bird's where it's at. Bird getting off some big damage. He's actually soaking. This thing's actually low-key soaking. It's such a defensive bulk. Can you eat up an can you eat up this wave crash? I think he takes recoil damage from this. I think you do take recoil, don't you? If he takes recoil from that, that could be huge for us. He does. Okay, so another close combat should be able to pick up KO. While we bring out Salamence here. That's solid. That's solid. That's solid. This Flamigo outspeeds. Flamigo outspeeds. We get off an intimidate too. Right, close combat should he doesn't have leftovers. No leftovers on this thing. Close combat will pick up the KO. So I'll close combat and I'll straight up Dragon Call this slot. Battle was canceled. Yo, let's go. Taking down a Dodonzo with Armor Rouge and Flamigo. What a start to today's video. Taking down a Dodonzo team with Armor Rouge and Flamigo. But we're hopping into our second battle. Our opponent has Murkrow alongside with Dragapult, Water Tauros, I believe. And then he's got the Golden Go, Volcarona, and Serena over there. How should I play this one? How should I get after it? We have no way of going into Trick Room or taking Speed Control. So I feel like Palafin's going to be a solid lead because I have Choice Scarf on that Pokemon. I can flip turn out and just get after the battle that way. So I'm all about Palafin here. We're going to go Palafin for a lead. I could go with the Co-Star combo. Could work too. But I really like Palfinger. I really do like Palfin. I do like Salamence here as well, potentially setting up a Dragon Dance. Could definitely D Dance. It depends who he leads. I'm, I'm still going to give the Salamence a go. He has no Defiant Pokemon, which is good. Actually, does Tauros learn Defiant? I, I think it's an Intimidate Pokemon. I think it's an Intimidate Pokemon. Yeah, I, I'm liking this. So we're going to go Salamence. We're going to go Palfin. I am going to bring Flamigo in the back end. I just dig Flamigo all around. I think its stats are, are decent. Its defense stats aren't too hot. But I think we go in all all with attack, right? Or do we go with mouse hold? Where are DDs out too bad? I don't mind DD. Now, you know what? I, I'm with all these attackers. Let's go straight into attacking. We got the Palfin. We got the Salamence. We're going to look to try to set up a D-Dance. Turn one if I can. Again, it depends who he goes into. But I'm going to try to flip turn out. Set up this D-Dance. Maybe I should have brought in a support bomb. I think that would have been a better combo. Now that I'm thinking about it, like I could have D-Dance, flip turn out, get in a support mod, and then just follow me and protect my Salamence. Seems like it could have been a play. Seems like it definitely could have been a play, but we already chose our team. We're going to have to deal with it. They're going to end up leading the Dragapult. And, okay, and Golden Go. Kind of scary. I don't like that too much. Um, Timonade's going to come out here. That thing's clear body. Uh, obviously, want to flip turn. We obviously want to flip turn. I'm gonna flip turn into Golden Go. I could Terrasilize here. I could Terrasilize here and just Dragon Claw. I'm liking the early Terrasilization. I'm really liking it. So instead of D Dancing, we're just gonna Terror this turn. He's ter Terrasilizing as well. What type can you go into? Ghost potentially? Go into Stay Dragon. Stay Dragon. Stay's Dragon. They stay dragging. This is still going to do a big chunk of damage, which I don't like one bit. I'm hoping my Salamence can still eat up. I'm hoping my Salamence can still eat up. Because we are changing the straight skill. And then Dragon Call can do a good amount of damage over onto that Pokemon. So I'm straight steel typing. Obviously, Dragon Pulse can be fast on the field. And he protects. That's scary. You're blocking my flip turn. And if he goes after Palafin, he gets rid of Palafin. 
Dragon darts. Um, Falcon, you should be able to eat that, right? Wow, that did a lot of damage. Falcon does eat. Falcon does eat. Dragon Claw flies through. KOs. Okay, I'm, I'm on board with that play. I'm on board with that play. We're gonna still try to flip turn here. I really want to. Because I feel like a Jet Punch Hero Fin Palafin can do crazy amount of damage late in the back end. But still, big time Dragon Call takes out the Dragon Pult. Those are the Tauros. Tauros comes flying in here. Intimidates can come out here. I have clear amulet on my on my Salamence, which is really good. And I'm just gonna go for another flip turn. So I'm gonna flip turn here, and I'm just gonna Dragon Call. I'm gonna get off as much damage as I possibly can. But come on, do not double protect. If he double protects and takes out my boy, I'll be so upset. I'll be so upset. <laughs> they just want to get my Palafin out. Like I said, hero form Palafin with the Jet Punch later in the match. It really does good. But yeah, Water Taurus looks dope. I really like the colors on it. I really do like the colors. And its tails look cool. It looks like a... What is it? Kind of like a propeller? Right? The way that its tail's like split and kind of angled. Kind of looks like a propeller. Which is cool considering it's water type. But we go for the flip turn. We get it off. Lovely. Beautiful. Dope. Sick. Awesome. We get off for our flip turn. So flip turn's off. Um... Do we go to armors? I mean, I could see a steel move coming in here, but I could also see a water move coming in here. Flamigo's not bad. I don't mind Flamigo. We got the Brave Bird. Oh, I think it's part of fighting time. We're going right to Flamigo. Flamigo! My dog. My diggy dog. Flamigo's gonna come out here. We co-star. We got no stat boost. Dragon Call's gonna fly. Oh, uh, Chipping up some mean damage. And Close Combat's gonna also fly. So we died to that all day. So we died to that. Um... I think we're dying to this. I think Golden Go is going to KO my, my my boy. That can be upsetting. This can be very upsetting. Shadow Ball. Can you eat this off? I don't think you can. <gasps> Flamigo. I love you. Flamigo. My dog. My dicky dog. Okay. Um, mm, do I palfin this one? I think I should palfin this one. I'll save my armors. Because Palfin's fast. That's what's so good about him. He's so fast. Palfin is so fast, which is gorgeous. And I'm thinking... That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking... I mean, Flamigo can do some good damage, but I'm thinking Brave Bird just KOs you. We die to recoil, and we just jet punch you. With the KO, or I can wave crash. Wave crash will pick up the KO. You know, we are gonna go for wave crash. We'll take the recoil. If we die to it, that's fine. I think Armus has a shot at 1v1 in his final Pokemon. We'll see. We'll see. This one's gonna be close. It's gonna be close battle. So I might I might KO both here and then die to recoil. Oh, this thing has Aqua Jet and it we went after Palfin. Palfin doesn't die. We're, we're sacrificing our Palfin here to get rid of this golden go. Cool. You're gone. I'm gone. My Flamigo is going to kill your Tauros now. And now I'm surprised you didn't go after my Flamigo here. That's a surprise, surprise. That is definitely a surprise. So I died to recoil. I'm going to die to recoil again. I'm going to take you out. And I'm bringing it down to a 1v1 for you guys. 1v1 action. <laughs> Let's roll out strong, yo. Flamigo, I'm loving this Pokemon. I'm loving Flamigo. I think it's such a cool Pokemon with a cool typing. All right. 1v1 time. It's kind of all about that RNG at this moment. It's like, who do you have? Somebody I can take out. Run it. <laughs> Run it! They don't have Terrasilize. We don't have Terrasilize. We got Armorous with Armor Cannon. I think Serene's going to be able to outspeed us. But I think one Armor Cannon just rips into this Pokemon. Battle was canceled. Let's go. 2-0. We just guaranteed ourselves a winning record for today's video. Final match coming at you guys. Going up against a Storm Drain Gastrodon team alongside with Dragapult, Grimmsnarl, uh, Amoongus, Nar Gargleknack, and Corv. Um, hmm. How should you play this? Armourouge isn't too bad here. It can get some work done. Uh, I kind of got going to have to deal with that Corv because Corv is super bulky. It is super bulky. We could go for the armor combo again, which I'm kind of liking here. I am kind of liking it. 
Mm. Problem. Actually, there's not really too much problem. I feel like he's going to set up Reflex. Let's do it. Let's go Armors. Let's go Mouse Hold. Uh, Flamigo in the back end. The co-star of that one. And then just a nice, lovely Salamence. A nice, lovely Salamence. I'm all about it. I'm all with it. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. And we are going to look to grab ourselves yet another perfect record in Scarlet and Violet. We've been killing it today. The Fida Ada Dodds team, that last battle, came down to the wire. I think our opponent actually could have won the battle if we Aqua Jetted my Flamigo instead of my Palafin. So that would have taken out my Flamigo. I would have wave crashed into Golden Go, taken out the Golden Go, taken out my own Palafin, probably the recoil damage. And then it would have been a Tauros and a Serene versus my Armors. With no, I couldn't Terror. So his Tauros probably could have just ripped into me. But he's going to go into these two Pokemon. That's totally fine. Um, I don't think I could beat up at this point. I don't think I could beat up at this point. I mean, actually, yes, I can. I think he sets up a light screen. Then I just go for a stored power. Ready to gasho? I'm with it. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I am totally okay with that. I am totally okay with this. We're going up against two Pokemon that have no double hitting moves. He's going to set up screens. We're going to follow me out till the mouse hole dies. And then just keep attacking with our armors, right? We'll waste our screen turns that way. Eventually, we get out of our coast star from Amigo. And we'll roll out the battle that way. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely fine with that protect. I'm definitely fine with that protect. And I'm really surprised at that protect. I, in all honesty, maybe he thought I was using that uh, population bomb with his mouse hole. Which we are not. We are not. Even though that move is ridiculously OP. <laughs> it really is. Yo, you gotta knock it off with this weak armor stuff. You gotta stop hitting me with the beat ups. <laughs> you gotta stop hitting me. Two or three was enough. We don't need we don't need our defense that low. So armor is the only problem here is going to be double hitting move. And again, there's no double hitting move, so I am free to just do this and free to just go into a stored power. I can definitely see a light screen coming out here and then probably an earth power or a skull from the Gaston, which is gonna go over to my mouse hold slot, which is gonna be solid. Look at Gastro, yo. Gastro's hilarious. <laughs> little slug. Little sea slug. It's not even little, that's a big slug. Like, look how big the people are in the background, and look how big the slug is. Imagine walking up to, like, the beach and just seeing a slug of that caliber. You're just like, oh my lord. <laughs> like, I'm not messing with that thing. But honestly, if I saw, like, a real life Gastron, I'd probably pick it up, right? I'm like, dude, that's a Gastron. Oh, we just dumped on that thing. I'm like, that's a Gastron. Everybody's like, what are you doing? I'm like, dude, it's just a Gastron. Things a, a beast. Loving this Pokemon. He chooses to go into Spirit Break, which I'm totally cool with, considering you're not going to set up Blight Screen and I'm special attacking. So right now, at this moment, if he doesn't bring out a double-hitting Pokemon, I'm just going to constantly follow me these shots. Just follow me until the mouse hole dies. Bring out the Flamingo. The Flamingo Flamingo. We should call it the uh, Flamingo Mingo. Or a Flamingo Migo. I don't know. Migo. I like Flamingo. This is like a Migo and Flamingo mix. Migo meets friend. Spanish. I'm all about it. I'm, I'm really liking that name. But yeah, really surprised the Grimstar did not go for the screens. But I'm not going to complain. Dragon Ball has no double hitting moves besides maybe Surf. But I don't think this one's Rock and Surf. It's not like a Colossal team, right? So let me just follow me again and go into yet another stored power. My speed's plus, what is it, plus four? Oh, you protect, you buttery biscuit. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. This battle's looking really good for us. Follow me with the mouse hold. Is he spirit breaking again, right? Correct? Yeah. Go ahead. Take out. Take out my mouse hold. Actually, this shot's not going to take out mouse hold, which is going to be great for us. Because if I follow me again, the Dragapult's going to be forced to go into that slot. Even though we're going to dump on the Dragapult here. Even though we are ripping into Dragon Ball, yo, Armor's getting some work done. This Pokemon getting some work done in today's video. This combo is insane. He's really thinking of what he can do. I mean, probably has Terrasalization, but I don't think Terror Type is really going to help from the stored power. He gets a 20% or 20 increase, 20 plus power for every stat boost. So we are plus two on attack, plus two on. Special attack, and then what are we? Plus four on speed. One, two, three, four. That is eight. Eight times two, 160 plus the original 20. It's like 180 plus stab. 
240. <laughs> Ridiculous. Actually, 260, I should say. The Spirit Break flies. Mousehold, thanks for coming out here. But that was his biggest mistake, was to take out the Mousehold. Because now, now we bring out the Flamingo. <laughs> now we get out the pink, the pink bird. With fighting type to take out that gargle neck. I'm all about. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Flamigo out and about. Coast are coming in hot. Uh, yeah, close combat all day. I mean, what's your terror type? Flying. We're not terrestrializing you. I'm doubling down with this Pokemon. I'm doubling down. I don't think that the gargle neck's gonna uh, protect you. I think he's going for a straight like salt gear. I'm doubling down just in case one of these shots do not KO. Flamigo should. Oh! Hold up! Hold up! I think ghost typing. Great swap from him. This close combat does not affect us. He's gonna take us out with a spirit break, right? Could be scary. Can we take you out with a sword power? Oh my god, yo. <laughs> Rouge chill on him. Armor is way too OP. Way too OP. Spirit break coming here. Up against two. Armors, we eat that. We eat that. That's GG's, yo. That's GG's. Drop my defense, but my speed stat boost. And my speed won't go higher, so. <laughs> Wait, look at Flamigo's stats, yo. Flamigo is chilling. <laughs> chilling. Plus six. Actually, I did the math wrong. I thought he was plus four on speed. He's plus six on speed. That's 10 attack boost. That's 200. Plus the original 20. 220 plus the stab. 330. 330 base power. Thing is teeing off. Let's we'll go into close combat here. We will go into a lovely little armor cannon. That's going to be GG's. I think we get three battles were canceled today. That's absolutely amazing. This combo just made three opponents cancel the battle. We made a, a the Donzo combo cancel the battle, and then the other two opponents cancel the battle. Absolutely amazing. The Mousehold, Armor, and Flamigo combo is basically unstoppable. It is super, super broken. Use this one. If you guys use it right, I'm telling you guys, you can just win constant battles endlessly. You also have the Salamence. You got the Palafin and Indeedee, which can all do their... They're good in this team. Like you got the Palafin, you can really just swap and swap out. Have the hero form. You know that Pokemon is super broken as well. You got the Salamence with Intimidate, Terror type into Steel to take out some Dragon Pokemon. Then Indeed is just a great support Pokemon all around. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.